Imagine a world where time isn't a steady beat, but a fluid fabric, stretching and shrinking at the whim of the universe. What if a single minute could last forever or vanish in the blink of an eye? Out here, time dances to a different rhythm, shaped by speed and gravity. Over a century ago, Albert Einstein revealed that time and space are woven together, forming a single flexible fabric, space-time. Massive objects bend this fabric, slowing the flow of time itself. This is relativity. Travel fast enough and seconds stretch. Your clock ticks slower than one on Earth. Away from gravity's pull, time loosens its grip even more. How does knowing this change the way we see that simple clock on the wall? We live by time's rhythm, wake, work, rest, never questioning its flow. Yet in stillness, time feels different, almost like it pauses to breathe. But what if our sense of time is just perception, not reality? To explain this strange truth, Einstein imagined a simple scene, a train, two lightning bolts, and two observers. For someone standing on the platform, the flashes strike at the same time. But for the passenger racing forward, the front flash arrives first because the train moves toward it and away from the rear one. The two events are no longer simultaneous. That simple thought revealed something profound. Simultaneity depends on motion. If now is different for everyone, time itself cannot be absolute. This is time dilation, where motion literally changes the flow of time. Einstein imagined taking it further. Identical twins, separated by a journey through the stars. One twin travels near light speed while the other stays home. Years pass for the one on Earth. While for the traveler, only a few years seem to go by. When they reunite, one has aged decades more. A human echo of relativity, the twin paradox made real. Decades later, scientists proved it true. Atomic clocks flown around the world tick slightly slower than those left behind. Even today, astronauts experience this effect. Those who spend long periods in space age just a little less than we do on Earth. Real twins have shown it. But motion isn't the only thing that bends time. Gravity can too. The stronger the gravity, the slower time flows. Imagine you're orbiting close to the edge of a black hole, not falling in, but skimming its rim where gravity is crushingly strong. For you, maybe only one hour passes. But back on Earth, thousands of years could go by. That's how intense the warping of time becomes. Einstein's equations predict that at the event horizon, the point of no return, time slows to a crawl. From outside, it never quite crosses over. Inside, the laws of physics as we know them break down. Einstein could only speculate. Perhaps time itself ceases to exist beyond that point. The ultimate mystery, if time can slow, can it also end? What happens when even time can no longer move forward? And yet from this cosmic truth flows our everyday order. Even satellites must adjust for time's shifting pace. Thanks to Einstein, we stay synced with the heavens every single day. Relativity isn't just theory, it powers the modern world. For some, moments drag. For others, they fly. Maybe time isn't only physics, but perception. Even as children, staring at the stars, we sense time's mystery, watching ancient light from billions of years ago. The farther we look, the further back in time we see. Light from the Andromeda galaxy began its journey over two million years ago. Every star is a memory from the past, and beyond even the stars, scientists have detected the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, the oldest light in existence, 13.8 billion years old. We can see it because that light, stretched by the expansion of the universe, still reaches us today. A whisper from the birth of time itself. So when we look into the night sky, we're not seeing what is. We're seeing what was. Every glance upward is a journey backward through time. Every second connects us, past, present, and future, in one cosmic story. But if time can bend, stretch, and even stop, what lies beyond its end? Maybe that's where the next great mystery begins.